I've lived in Newham all of my life. It's kind of a big melting pot of all different colours, all different cultures, all different views. I mean, living in inner cities, I find it can be very rigid and, you know, it's, it's very grey and it's very hard to find within those greys the colour, the spaces where you can go and just like think for a moment, you know, and take things in and appreciate, appreciate life and appreciate the world. A few residents got together. I think we spoke to about over 400 residents. We needed an injection of funding to develop our environment and to also benefit our health and our mental health. It's about improving our green spaces. It's about being able to come together as a community. We've got planters with edibles in them for the community to use. Planting things such as herb, garlic, onions, salad leaves and things like that. Ready for work. Ready for work. Even just to feel the dirt is very therapeutic for you. And to know that you could literally plant something and see it grow and able to eat it afterwards is fantastic. Allotment is very good. It gets people out. It gets them involved more in other things in the community. The idea of a Greener Together uh, project was embraced in our community. The space is not uh, just uh, something which is uh, beautiful, but um, we have something which is practical. People getting skills, how to plant beans, spinach, herbs, and then, uh, then this is uh, used among the, the residents. So we put up several wildflower planters around the area. We care about you know, the bees and the butterflies and the insects. And what we're doing is basically bringing biodiversity to our local area. So we had a big voting um, event and around 80 residents voted and it was a landslide that they wanted the play area to be redeveloped. This is our local park, it's the only place around here to play basketball. Like they really, they really tried extremely hard to make this a good court and it really is. <laughs> It was a blank canvas that residents could make something of their own. It's fantastic for the community around here. It's a local park where I can pop in pretty much any time and use the tables. I've been wishing for, for years for different places around Stratford to play. I went to one of the assembly meetings. I signed up and then I've been helping with the litter picking, the weeding. I'm going to help out do other things. I basically grew up here and I think my area felt neglected for a good while and this park was a big reflection of that. Reclaiming it as a space that um, the community can centre themselves, that feels safe, can use it for their own health and well-being, connect with people, is really, really great. The best bit of this playground is the plants because they provide oxygen, so we, so us humans can breathe. Is there any other good bits about this park? Everything. It is emotional, you know, because I've been passionate about something like this for a long time. And I've been wanting to do something like this in the community for ages, but I didn't know how to go about it. And it's only when this project Greener Together came about that I had the opportunity to do something. What Greener Together has done is it's empowered residents to have their voice, to be heard and to have something done about it.